again, everyone, Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here at the very end of September to give another update on the U.S. housing activity in relation to my lumber prices, which come out every week. And so we have this week lumber data for all of September, and we have just now U.S. housing starts data for August. A lot of people have been bearish for housing since earlier this year when the uh, mortgage interest rates started going up and the data uh, monthly month over month was showing a little bit of a downturn however it's very important to keep in mind that the first six months of this year had more housing starts than the first six months of last year so while the month over month data might have been coming down a little bit in the entirety of so far this year, activity is still really good. And when you look at the data for total housing starts for August this year, compared to August one year ago, it's almost flat. So August 2021 was quite similar to August 2022 data, which just came out for total housing starts. Permits are also up, and I've been telling people Look at permits for what you think might happen with housing in two months. And this month, that is exactly true because June permits are almost exactly the same as August starts. Let's look at the graph so I can explain to you better what I'm saying right now. Total housing starts in the U.S. for August 2022 jumped more than 12% to 1.575 million compared to the previous month and were relatively flat compared to August of last year. Data for July had been revised lower. As for single family starts, which is the largest share of the market and the construction method which uses the most wood, these recovered from recent drops and were up 3.4% to a rate of 935,000 units. The permits for single family were down 3.5% from a very upwardly revised July figure of 932,000 units. So this is what I mean about watching out for month over month, because when the following month's data comes out, the previous month gets revised, and for the last couple of months, things have been being revised higher. So this situation is better than it looks like month to month. Okay, and so there's a really important reason why I put the housing start data against my lumber prices. The lumber prices, you can see on the graph, it's quite a good indicator when there's ups and downs. But the thing to note is that my lumber prices come out every week for that week, whereas the housing starts uh, building activity data comes out once a month for the previous month so really a six week lag and the numbers right now bear out that housing is still in a good situation when things pop up super high like the way lumber prices did in uh second quarter 2021 then they come crashing down as, as of course there is a correction and people start getting worried but you can't just look at this short-term volatility. The longer-term picture is much better uh, in terms of year over year and in terms of 2022 compared to what we would consider potentially a normal year like 2019. If you can see on those graphs how low and flat things were until the end of 2019. And so Let's look at a little bit more data for the lumber prices and I'll give you a historical perspective because when we understand the past and we know what happened in the past and we are looking at the present and we kind of know what's happening macroeconomically at the present, potentially we can sort of start to have an idea of what we might think can happen in the coming months. And so the housing starts data is for August, uh, but the lumber prices are for September and we are now uh, after the end of the month and have seen what's happening with the market for the usual slowdown following Labor Day. 
and we have on this benchmark item Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4 number 2 and better. The price was US $520 per thousand board feet, which is flat compared to the previous week, actually previous couple of weeks, uh, and is down $83 or 14% from one month ago when it was $603. It's down uh, very slightly from one year ago. It was $510 at that time. Uh, but two years ago, this price was $960, and so is down by $440, or 46%. And so as people ask, you know, when are we going to go back to normal, um, this is normal. We are in the new normal. The past couple of years have not been normal. So from first quarter of 2020 till basically the end of this summer, I mean, until a month ago, that is not representative of what the situation is going to be going forward but we are not returning to those past 10 years the prices that people got used to the operations at the sawmills as they were from 2006 to 2018 we're in, in an entirely new landscape these are the prices now you can see compared to each other they moved relatively um, in trend over this past year, uh, month, and past week. What, and so what I think is gonna happen rather than prices going down, as people keep asking, is changes to the operations in the forest, where previously timber might have not been considered valuable enough to make lumber out of. That is now what the sawmills are going to be harvesting for their next processing. Okay, great. And so all put together, this is a very good overview for current situation with housing, construction activity, and definitely with the lumber prices. The data put together between the forestry information with the lumber price uh, market and with the housing can give you some insight into what potentially could be coming upon us in the next couple of months. Uh, at the very beginning of this video, you may have noticed a little animation. We're having a big celebration right now. It's a uh, 70th anniversary, uh, platinum anniversary for Madison's. The first issue was on September 15th, 1952 by Peter Madison. I'm the third owner. And we're doing some fun things on social media uh, with some historical perspective pulling out the old issues uh, on hard copy from 1952 to about 1973 with some wonderful little commentary about what was happening uh, in the construction markets across North America at that time. So check back with us. If you like what you see here with the lumber prices, go onto my website. There's a, a link here in the caption to my subscribe page, fill out a form we'll send you a sample of the full 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices as they are right now and a word file with the commentary explaining what is happening why those prices are changing if that interests you a subscription to the actual dashboard uh, with all of the data that comes out when it comes out instead of waiting until I have time to make a YouTube or put it on my website uh, that is US $989 per year for a single user and like I said you get that information every week when it comes out that week if all you need is these little snapshots that I do on YouTube or on the website then subscribe here on my YouTube and click like so the video will get recommended to other viewers